Hello, everybody. So today we're going to talk again. You know what? I love doing these things. I, lo I love making these videos about RAM because even though everybody's shifted to DDR5, I know that most of us out there are still in DDR4. I have a DDR5 system, which is the system that I use right now to record these videos. Um, but I still love DDR4. Um, and especially if you consider the price, man, the price for going for with DDR5 today, it's insane. Not really the RAM, but just the platforms, both Intel and AMD. What What is up with that? Like, they gone out of their minds, man. I mean, you remember, I don't know how long you, you guys been into the, the whole computer thing, man. I remember back in the days, like, like two or three years ago, I would be able to purchase a decently packed featured motherboard for around two, three hundred bucks. For the same motherboards today, you're looking at five hundred dollars. That's insane, man. Um, and <laughs> the processors are probably a fraction or, you know, maybe uh, two thirds of the cost of the darn motherboard. That's, I don't, you know what, I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, uh, this kit here, uh, the Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro SL DDR4 3200 megahertz kit. Um, this part number, okay, for my Norwegian folks that are familiar with Complete I don't know, you can get this kit for dirt cheap, under a hundred bucks, dollars, okay. Um, if you are watching this and you live in Norway, Sweden, or I think Denmark also, I'm not sure, um, you snatch it up quick because this is a great kit of RAM. Um, I have purchased two of these, different times, different occasions, different vendors, um, and both times they came with the same ICs. That is Nanya ADI, um, a gigabit. That stuff is amazing. It is not Nanya BDI, which is what Bill Zoyo has made a video about, and his channel, by the way, is hardcore. Uh, actual hardcore overclocking uh, if you don't know about his you know you never heard about him check him out on YouTube he does great I mean awesome videos on memory overclocking his yeah he's my inspiration for for my own videos for my little channel so yeah go and check him out but um, um, this is actually not B die this is a die Nanya um, as far as I am aware this is what the ICs that come with this kit, maybe Corsair might revise, you know, in time, or there might be a different part number, uh, or not not a part number, but different ICs for the same kit for the same part number. But me, both times they came with the same ICs. So um, another thing that needs to be said is that when I do a Google search for this part number, you can't find it anywhere in the U.S. Like. It appears to be just a Nordic thing or European thing because, okay, we click on this one here. Um, that doesn't tell me much. Like, okay, yeah, that is the part number. That is the correct part number. Um, but anywhere in the US, if I go to, for example, newegg.com, let me do that. Newegg.com. And I put in that part number. Nope, doesn't exist. Uh, Tiger Direct, uh, I tried also, and it's just, they're just not found. So maybe eBay you can try. Um, and the reason why I want to talk about this particular kit of RAM here, not to make this boring enough, but if you just bear with me. The reason is because there are motherboards out there that do not allow you to overclock your RAM because of CPU limitations like Intel, the non-K uh, processors and certain motherboards that prevent you from overclocking your RAM, prevent you from overclocking your CPU. So you're stuck at 2933 or uh, 3200 megahertz, whatever the case may be. Um, if you're in that situation or, or Ryzen, 1000 series or 2000 series 
uh, will greatly benefit from a Keteram like this because the timings are insane. This stuff right here kicks butt, man, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get into it. But before we get into the BIOS, yeah, I wanted to do this. Just kind of show off a little bit. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the way the system is running like this, RGB. And like I previously said before, I hate RGB. I mean, it's just not my thing, but these parts keep coming up and I keep snatching them up. All right, let's get into the BIOS. All right, so here we are in the BIOS. Let's go to the overclock setting here these are the timings 14 15 13 12 21 44 look at the trfc man 256 granted it's 3200 megahertz but still and um it almost looked like it's just knockoff b die you know samsung b die that is I could probably take this down a little bit more with uh, some voltage, but yeah, maybe I'll do that later. Um, yeah, so here are just the timings that I'm using for this kit. Um, there are some things that you need to set manually, like um, disable power down mode. I that goes unsaid. I left everything else on auto because this motherboard seems to be doing a pretty good job at. Um, setting those setting that stuff up correctly for yeah for this RAM um, these are the voltages that I'm using 1.4 volts for the 32 gigabyte kit and yeah that's it nothing too fancy I got a profile already created for it so yeah let's go ahead and boot into Windows now all right so let's look at the SPD for this kit. All right. Get this. There we go. All right. So um, your XMP, this is what you're looking at here. Okay, 3200 megahertz, 16, 20, 20, 38, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Nanya, a gigabit, a die. AO layout for the PCB the revision and uh, yeah there's not much else to see here Zen timings here we go I've tested this with uh, TM5 PCB destroyer <laughs> uh, this stuff works great actually um, so yeah, um, this is my preferred method now. This or absolute, but you know, I know this is this is stable. Just look at some synthetic benchmarks just for the heck of it. Um, everyone's favorite, Ida. Now keep in mind, this is at 3200 megahertz or 3200 megatransfers per second. So don't expect your read, write, and copy to be so high. But where this shines is at the latency la la uh, level um, it, it's hover it hovers around 60 61 59 in that area but we all know how accurate Ida is at measuring or yeah you know with spitting out correct numbers whatever um, but yeah this is pretty uh, the read at almost 50,000 megabytes a second. That's pretty normal. Same with the right. That's typical. There we go. Okay, so now we move to the latency and 62, but that's bound to change. Oh, while I'm at it, another thing. Um, if you guys want to get a, a better reading, 
like a more accurate reading shut down some of the stuff you got running here in the background like watch this especially steam steam is just it, yeah it'll bog your system down but here it should reflect let me try that one more time is it because it hates me today that it's doing this okay well that's a bit lower let's try again but I have seen it at 59 60 you know it does what it wants I guess this was one last time yeah okay you know what I'm happy with that so what about PYP prime let's try that Granted, I have, I'm not comparing it to anything else. I'm just doing this. It's just a quick video just to show you guys what this thing can do. And um, I'm sure you find all the stuff out there on the internet with, that you can compare it to the 3200 mega transfers. But yeah, 11 seconds, that's not bad. This should be a 13.8, 13.9. So that shaved off a couple of seconds there. Let's do that again. So this is not bad for DDR4. Um, if you guys bear with me, let's let's just for kicks. Let's see what the processor. Um, <laughs> let's see what the CPU score is on 3D Mart. All right, so let's take a look and see what our CPU score is gonna be. Here we go. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Man. At just 3200 megahertz so just you know what let's let's do that again I mean yeah it's a CPU score but it's it's also memory sensitive so Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So between 14 and 15,000, that's where you expect to see this. I'm not going to do any video game benchmarks. I think you guys get the point. Yeah, it's a great kit. Um, you will love it if you get... I hope that this is not going to turn out to be one of those... Uh, um, a flop where... You go and buy this kit and you get a different type of ICs. Um, like I said, I bought these these two different times, different renders, and both time both times came with Nanya A die. So yeah, um, and just kind of prove the point here. I've tested it with absolute and yes, my T is wrong here. It should have been a 16, not six. This is not doing anything. But uh, yep. Yeah. So, well, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.